with all that's been going on, we've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Oh, she didn't stop. No, we can, uh, I can only assume. Hello everyone, hello, hello. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Blind uh, XCOM 2. I am the Black Shadow, joined with co-commentary by CM3. Hello. Um, we are actually going to manage to get another video done, which is probably probably a miracle. Although, speaking of miracles, last time! <laughs> well, it was a miracle except for Ashley Mount. Yes, uh, we have had our uh, we had a bit of a disaster last time. Uh, there was much pain and misery encountered by the XCOM squad. It was not good. Uh, although to be fair, walking out with just one death compared to many more than that, probably it was, it was almost two. Considering Jane Kelly was knocked unconscious. Well, she was not. It was probably a mercy. So it meant yeah. the aliens didn't go for her. We managed to pull it out of the fire. So uh, it's been bad. The memorial is starting to. Uh, Mm. Starting to stack up. Our first corporal. First corporal, dead. And if that if that was an extraction mission, you would have lost Kelly as well. Yeah, it was uh, it was all kinds of shit. Everyone, all sorts of mayhem happened. So that wasn't good. As also as a result, it also means that half of our soldier pool is also gravely injured or or otherwise. So that's also not good. Yep. Yeah. Terrible. There's been many many problems, but Jack Dawson did distinguish himself in the fighting. Took down many alien bastards. Good job. So uh, we'll welcome that later on. All right then. So with that done, we might as well look to start moving. What can on. I do for you, Commander? Do you have anything I can so. build? Item wise, anything? Interesting? Oh yes, battle scanners. I forgot I got hold of these. Yeah, they. I haven't found much use for them, but maybe you might. I always enjoyed them in the previous game. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's a specialist perk that basically does the same thing, but. Sort of different, kind of you know somewhat different. I think I'm actually gonna grab one. Yeah, get one. I, I I normally have those on my snipers. I quite enjoy, especially ma touching that with with squad sight. Always oh, yeah. was a lovely combination. So we shall we shall grab that. Uh, mind shields. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be worth it enough. Probably also May so maybe for a shaken officer. Yeah, but maybe then, one, but not. You don't need one yet. But they're kind of fucked anyways. Yeah. As far as I can tell, advanced technology along with most of what we've seen going on in the city centers is based on variations, and in some cases, improvements of the existing alien tech used during the invasion. Luckily, the more common the stuff becomes, the easier it'll be for us to find components that can work in conjunction with the Avengers hybrid systems. Thank you very much. That's good. It's, it's not Useful. Right then, so the base is being built. We've got our uh, facility being built. We've still got rookies. Hello. No, this is a different thing. This have, is supplies. We have rumors. Very good. We also still have the rookies to go to, so we'll be paying visit them. I think we'll need them. We also need to look to make contact with West Asia rather soon to start working on the uh, disabling this business. So let's go and pick up the rookies, everyone, seeing as we need bodies. Avenger plotting new course. Bodies are required for the effort. Mm. Please help. Please help. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I'm sure okay. you have. I've often uh, wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? It's pretty ugly regardless. Good question. Early reports of the Resistance refer referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shape-shifting were initially dismissed by local cell leaders who attributed the sightings of combat stress and malnutrition. <laughs> oh dear. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Ranging off the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height of up to 3 meters, the specimen currently referred to as the Faceless as one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable sheeting like structures um, providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. The membranes in question are responsible for the face's extraordinary mobility to mirror the form of a human. In recirculating key cellular combinations via an elaborate internal structure, the faces are capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colours and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other species or inanimate objects. Oh, a, oh, sorry. a bit of prop hunt there, I keep thinking of. Yes. 
Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time. However, that has given us access to the Mimic Beacon, a holograph decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. That doesn't sound like a terrible idea right now, everyone. Mm. Not gonna lie. So what do you want to do now? Now, we still got the stun on top, Topsy. We can get a, a breakdown, which sounds fun. But uh, I don't think we can worry about that. I'm, right I'm trying moment. to think what it gets you after completing it. No, I, don't think I, think, I don't think you'll need it yet. Uh, probably not. Uh, we still can't do anything with either of these two, unfortunately. I think maybe Resistance Radio would be a good shout. Is... Uh, to be fair, we've only, we haven't even got around to expanding anything with our uh, at our region wise. So uh, this can wait. More autopsies, everyone! The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent mm. reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. I think I'm embracing my inner Valen. That's what I like to think of it. I, I, <laughs> I'm honoring Valen's memory by just doing every just... autopsy available. <laughs> Back yeah. to back to back. It's a shame you can't capture anything in XCOM 2. Sad times. Anyway, so you get on with that tiger. Look how happy he is. He's like another autopsy. That, that's not that's not a happy face. Thank you, Commander. I always wanted to do autopsies on aliens. I certainly admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. And the they are face we? a well armed, we well in the trained sky. enemy. And yet, or in a desert? Never waver in their no, we're in a snowy park. wasteland. Yes. Cool. Cool regardless. Cool. Alright, then you get on with that. Our Gorilla Tactics School is nearly done, which is good. Let's get the rest of our rookies. Gorilla Tactics School now nice. operates. Train rookies as specific class. It's basically a gym from the I looks like, of it. I like the dummies. The pregnant aliens, yeah. Very nice. Alright then, so we can train a rookies as specific class if I want to, which is something I might well be looking to delve into. We unfortunately cannot do that. Ah, yes. So this is um, something else we have not talked about in the uh, Th this game. Is, this is all a mod. Yes, this which I have not talked about in the game. Maybe you can describe it a bit better than me. So once a soldier reaches sergeant rank, you can then give them some leader training, which means they'll get... It's its, its own perk tree, like five on each side, and you just sort of train them. It takes eight days, I believe. So on Sergeant, you'll unlock the first two. One of them's kind of crappy, but the other one's really good. Once they get another rank up, they can then train them in the second. Another rank up, you train them in the third one, up to the, up to five. The one downside is if you train, if you have two leaders, they cannot be on the same mission. Yes, except in dire emergencies, i.e. Uh, you don't have enough soldiers, only one leader can go on a mission at a time. I, I don't know about that first bit. I think if there's not enough soldiers, I think... You still only get one, but I don't know. I've never had not enough soldiers. Let's hope we don't get to that situation. I, I do know what it's referring to, though, and it might happen soon. We shall see. Anyway, so that is available. However, as, as standard, we, of course, have combat tactics. So there's a variety of abilities we can get here. Um, so Vulture to get extra loot. This I'm very, very interested in, but we need a sergeant first. Yes. Uh, lightning Strike gain free mobility for the first two turns of battle. Large squad means skill. That's not That's too good. What works? Extra experience. Uh, random tactical bonuses for two turns. <laughs> Might have some use for that. Let's see what some of this latest stuff is. PCS bonus. We, don't, we haven't even touched those yet. That Squad good, size though. two is not till captain. Uh, that's major. Uh, grenadier. Ca ah, specific. Um, yep. Specific one. So grenadier captain. Rangers will get extra flank. Uh, bonus ten percent chance to crit. And uh, that's good. 10% aim, the ability to critically hit while taking overwatch and reaction shots. That is pretty, pretty fucking good. I mean, just the plus 10 aim alone is decent. Extra loot sounds fun. I, yeah, I agree. You need more loot. Get some loot, everyone. Do you want to train a rookie? Uh, maybe, probably. Let's see if I want to delve into another facility or not. I need to get some power, though. Maybe I should get him clearing some stuff away. How long is it going to take yeah. you to excavate that? Is it it's, still 20 It's days? longer the further down you go. That's 10 days. If I go down the middle, it's going to be 20 days to clear the machinery, to get the alloys. I think we need to get this power done, so we're just going to yeah, go down this Yeah, I think way. so. Let's get you excavating, Shane. Get me. Give me supplies. So what about the other two empty 
buildings areas you have. Um, okay, so I could put. I've only got three buildings I can go in. Am I interested? It's not gonna, is it going to cost me anything to train them? No, no, it doesn't train a thing. It just takes five days to train them, and they come out as a squaddy with the class you gave them. Uh, Claude. And right now, you're in need of a specialist. Yeah. Probably. Well, no, we got to, we got another specialist. You, you had a specialist, but also, um, you don't want to run out of medics. This is true. While we're on the topic, we should probably go to the armory so we can just look at what troops I do have. For our new recruit into the game. Before he made contact, I just assumed the Thank you, had died or moved on after the council dissolved. From what little he's told me, it sounds like he managed to gain a position with the Advent government early on, if only to start leaking intel to the resistance. Hmm. What a guy. So yes, we have uh, uh, Lua Tizaria, I think it's pronounced. I could be completely wrong. Uh, courtesy of Garrison. Um, so well, welcome into that. You will be taking the place of Ashley, who of course tragically tragically died it wasn't so good it was terrible really both our specialists are injured at the moment but if you can avoid a fight for how long is nine days nine or six days two specialists two rangers two sharpshooters and one grenadier i suppose it makes sense to get ourselves a second grenadier so uh sure yeah okay we'll do that new orders commander that's not what i meant i meant uh that one thank you so claude and you pick the class, and that's it. We're in here. You get trained, so good job. Yeah. With that. <coughs> All right then. So that is underway. Uh, that's being done. That's being done. That's being done. There's nothing to do Commander. here, possibly. Well, there might be. Uh, you kind of got everything you need. Yeah. 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 Did I ever stress the usefulness of flashbang grenades? No. Disorienting. Disorienting an entire pod of enemies, very, very good. Yeah. Saved many lives. I didn't realize disorientation. Yeah, because I didn't know that disorientation was actually a status effect. I thought it just meant it just affected it because it, disorientation didn't exist in the previous game. Right. So if it disorientates, then that means it's yeah. pretty good, and I should probably buy one, shouldn't I? Absolutely. Okay, we've got one of them now. Very good. <laughs> they they are good on grenadiers because they can just <laughs> launch them straight in, or your rangers who are close enough. Yes. All right then. Let's get our last couple of rookies. Very nice. Uh, William cool. Taylor, Miguel Lopez, and Sophie White. Welcome to the team. We need to look at your stats. Let's see who we've oh, got. Oh, yeah, that's here. right. They're randomized. Yeah, they're all, yeah, of course. Yeah. Need to check what their stats are. Okay. So, uh, William Taylor. Six health. Hello, Miguel. We may have some use for you. We might have a tank on our hands. Ah, we might do indeed. And, of course, now that we have specialized training... We can look at someone like Miguel and say, oh, he's got lots of health. He should probably do something more healthy. William's got lots of accuracy. We should probably make him a sniper. This sort of business. We have some control over that. So, uh, yeah, which is nice. Probably things we should look to do. Either way, not bad. Six yeah. health for, for a rookie. That's pretty... That's, that's looking very, very grenadier-y. That's myself. pretty insane, everyone. So, uh, yeah, good times. All right, then. Let us climb out of that. And let's move on with the game. Yeah, so it's making contact, right? I think that, so. That's our next it's, step. I can't justify seven days for supplies. It's too much. It's. I don't believe it was a lot either. It's like after we pay the initial intel at cost most to make seventy. Contact, we'll have yeah, to scan so we're going to go and make contact. I don't have Central's story this one. I think he has. Comes out of hiding. Once we find yeah, he has him, said we'll that. Yeah. In He's definitely region. said it. So that's forty Ready intel spent. Sector fifteen, West Asia. And that's five days. As opposed to East Asia, of course. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. Mm -hmm. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Yeah, it's very good. Here we go. Only, only four days. To establish yeah. local regional contacts. That's, hmm. Maybe it's because it's tutorial and things take not much time. It's usually five days. <laughs> oh, hi! Hello. They usually, a guy walks out, nods, they nod back, and that's it. Every time. Contact is established, everyone. New objective added. Don't forget to nod. You need to nod. Yes, that's their that, greeting. That, that's the sign. It's the nod. All right. And so now that we have the objective and we have the cell established, we can now look to investigate the black site when we so desire. 
As you can see there. And oh yes, we also still have to do with this at some point. We'll we'll get oh, there later. Yeah, that's right. I haven't even remotely considered sorting this out yet. We'll that's get... that's why you need the proving ground. Yeah, I'm guessing. We'll get there later. Regardless, folks, we can now look to take on the mission. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, Ooh. and we can move on the advent black also, side on your order. Yep. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for the mission. Does the long war toolbox randomize that too? Tight at the facility. I've updated our latest operational I objective. Remember it saying that it did. Located. So we have a couple of X. We have uh, Europe and New India. Okay. New India. Yeah. What? As opposed to. As as opposed to old India. As opposed to old why, India. Why did you. I need to say that? <laughs> Lovely. So uh, we're not going there right now, though, folks, because we will die. We will die. <laughs> and the game is locking my camera, so I'm going to take control back of it. Sorry, folks. So we're not going there. We're not doing that. Not right now. We can actually make even more contact if we want to. We can actually go down to... Uh, Wouldn't you recommend yet? We could do. It's an option. You can see how much it costs. Yeah. 55, 50. That's how much you get. But what oh. it costs is... 80 intel hello that's expensive so this is why resistance radios come in handy to bring this cost back down again. yeah so the reason it's 80 is because it's two areas away from the closest radio which is of course radio one in new arctic it starts with a radio which is nice yes. problem is the more you build the more they will cost uh -huh. so the first one you build might be i think it's 75 or something the next one will be 100, then 125. So careful decision of where you build your radios is key. It's like the old, uh, something like this in the original game is similar to that. It's like satellite, is it satellites? Maybe. Satellites, something Might to do with satellites was similar. Anyway, and yeah. also we can only have so many contacts without building more stations to have more contacts. Yeah. This is also true. Okay. I was hoping there'd be like a store or something. So there's nothing to do really. No, well yes, we're. Well that. Yeah, but... but the game's gonna throw us into a mission very soon. Yeah. So we can now launch this whenever we so decide. Hmm. We're not doing it now. It's not. I think you should have some sergeants before we, we take that. We, on. we, yeah, we need some, we need some dudes before we do that. That's a good idea. Let's go and get, uh, let's go and split the. Uh, uh, Expect to be destroyed, convoy. Sure. We'll see how long it takes for the game to throw us into shit. I am sure you will find the results Immediate. to be as intriguing. It's not exactly what I meant, Tigan, but thank you. Although Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers, it seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Mm. Yeah, that's generally how this shit goes. On both the physical and genetic level, the Advent stun lancers are nearly identical to the troopers our forces regularly see in combat. However, a minor yet crucial adjustment to the missile fiber density of the lancer improves both agility and overall survivability. Equipped, the, uh, with lance, bleh, equipped with non-lethal weapons, that was terrible, capable of easily disabling human targets, the Lancer were first deployed during the earliest days following Advent's establishment of the city centres, when civil unrest was a more common problem than outright resistance. In, using the, in studying their usage and deployment, it raised an interesting question. The Lancers were among the first Advent forces deployed, and their survivability is somewhat higher than of the standard trooper. Did the aliens consciously reduce the troopers' strength based on their assessment of human combat readiness? This would imply a system of rapid genetic modification beyond what I had previously imagined uh, the aliens were capable of. It was also demonstrated a degree of genetic frugality that I would have previously assumed was irrelevant to the aliens, based on the variety of unusual experiments they had conducted. Interestingly enough, that does bring us, though, the Arc Blade. Mm. Uh, the upgrade may prove necessary. It boosts the standard sword's combat effectiveness with the addition of an electric field capable of stunning enemies that are not outright killed. That looks very tasty. Yeah. So that's an upgrade you can now buy from Shen, and that's just, that's for everyone. You don't just buy one; you just buy the upgrade. Buy the tech, and, and it's done. You've, you, everyone has it forever. Very nice. Okay then. Uh, well. Do you want more intel? I don't, need, I don't need those mads now. Not yet. More op... It's not quite an autopsy, but more autopsies! The tourists mm. we see employed <coughs> by Advent throughout their various <laughs> facilities sad. and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine oh, following I bet. the disassembly <laughs> process. I'd like to think that, like, the moment he's done with that stun lancer, he takes his mask off, and suddenly Shen just walks in, 
boom, turret rack on the desk. Yeah. With a smile saying, <laughs> yeah, just thumbs have up fun. Everyone. Thumbs up, everyone. All right, then. So, will we be back with you in three days? The has made steady progress in convincing the remaining civilian populace to migrate to their city centers with the propaganda campaign providing a constant you mean the loading screens <laughs> as to the benefits of migration they have maintained a steady influx of new converts unfortunately most of these unwitting refugees have little idea what they are truly signing up for yeah spooky grim times hello commander hello sure. i have things i would like you to do oh Ten yeah. any and alloys required rip well, damn alloys. Well, we will get this soon. That is high on the uh, would very much like list. Nah, we got one. Uh, one's fine. Thank you. I wonder I'll if be this back. is what it was like in the old days. Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Oh, you have no idea, Lily. You have no idea at all. All right then. <coughs> Right. Scan away. More scanning. Commander, oh. we just got word oh. that the resistance supply raid. Supply line. We have an opportunity to salvage some high value material. This gets you Assuming lots of stuff. I imagine it does. The site first. What do you say about okay. desire for alien alloys? I wonder. This will get you the alloys. I wonder, folks. It looks like we have ourselves a job to do in the next video by the looks of it. I see no Do you know reason. the best part about those missions? You don't have to rush to some little workstation or have a time limit. Just kill everything there and don't blow anything up. Unless you need to. Unless you need to. That sounds like a plan, folks. Next time on Let's Play Blind XCOM 2. We shall see you then. Bye-bye.